Welcome. Three rooms, please. But before that, can we get something to eat? Oh, my apologies, but our cook isn't in yet. Hey, is she okay? Can we at least use your kitchen? Yes, please. Help yourself. Your friend looks like she's about to pass out. M my stomach. It really is growling. <laughs> and here I thought that was just a silly human expression. Not bad. Not bad. It's good. I quite enjoy ingesting calories with you. Humans should learn to cherish these simple pleasures. This might be her first time sleeping, too. And apparently she never ate before today, either. Who in the world is she? She claims she's Maxwell. That Maxwell? Yeah. She's apparently a spirit in physical form. Well, not just any spirit. The Lord of Spirits. Wielder of the Four Elements. The Eldest Spirit. Maxwell has many names. And now we add Mila to that list? She's supposed to be the spirit Maxwell? You gotta be kidding me. Is Maxwell really that mighty? Of course. That's why this is so hard to swallow. I grew up hearing bedtime stories about Maxwell. What in the world would a spirit like that be trying to destroy? Trying to destroy? What are you referring to? She called it a Spyrex, I think. The device from the laboratory. Hmm. Maybe I should just ask Mila about it. I don't know. You have a nasty habit of poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Your cursed curiosity made me a wanted man too, you know. <sighs> well, think hard before asking, okay? Yeah, you're right. Good morning. Good day, Jude. I was just about to share my plans with Alvin. What is it? I'm thinking of returning to Nia Kara. Is that your hometown? More accurately, it's where my shrine is. If I go back, I might be able to resummon the four. So, she really is Maxwell. This is where you come in, Jude. Will you accompany me to Nia Kara? What? It's true that you brought your current situation upon yourself, but I bear some of the blame as well. I'll put in a good word for you with the people of Nia Kara. I'm sure they'll look after you. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes. Remember when you told me I seemed unconcerned? I decided to take that to heart. Mila, you don't need to practice your swordplay anymore? No need to concern yourself with my martial abilities. Well, if nothing else, you know how to swing the pointy end. Okay. I'll come with you. Good. You needn't worry. A little more practice wouldn't hurt, though. You think so? Better safe than sorry. Come find me once you're ready to go. Wait, you're coming with us, Alvin? Why not? I've come this far. Hey, Mila? Hmm? Thanks.
Ready to hit the road? Mila, you said it's north of here? How far? Less than half a day's flight time. If we could fly using Sylph's power. Oh, well, I'm afraid my wings are, you know, non-existent. I hope we can find a place to rest along the way. The map showed a village in that direction, so we should be okay. Either way, we can't just stay here. We must press forward. I know, I know. Is Milo really that Maxwell? She does act a bit nutty, but she looks normal enough. I think it's true. When I first met her, Mila had the four great spirits with her. What? Get out of here. No, seriously. Fire spirit Efreet, water spirit Undine, wind spirit Sylph, and earth spirit Gnome. It was the first time I'd ever seen them in person, but there was no mistaking who they were. That's a mighty exclusive club. Can't imagine they hang out with a lot of mortal girls. Yeah. Oops, gotta straighten my scarf. You sure do love that thing. Don't you? It's one of Fismage's finest, custom made for yours truly. I don't know much about brands, but it does look good on you. You gotta be careful about what you wear, kid. It's how the world judges a man. I'd rather think what's inside is what counts. Yeah, and this is how what's inside gets projected to the outside. You don't believe some people shape what's outside in order to conceal the ugliness within? <laughs> well, if you can't see through a false front, isn't that your problem? So you blame the victims for being deceived? If that's really what you believe, Alvin, it tells me all I need to know about what's within. Man, I sure slipped up this time, huh? The name's Alvin, and don't you forget it. Walking sure is grueling. That's unexpected coming from you. I'm just used to having Sylph fly me everywhere. 
The only time I ever really walked was when I used Undine to travel across water. I see. Maybe this is your punishment for treating the four great spirits like your personal servants? Servants? They may help out now and then, but they're the ones who pester me. They're like a bunch of bickering in-laws that never go home. Did you just call the four bickering in-laws? Watch out! Alright! Nice job. Farewell! You have big hands. Interesting. No wonder you pack quite a punch. I, um, thanks. Don't you forget it. Compared to Fenmont's night climb, the sky in Ajul sure is bright. That's true. The spirit climbs here are much more stable. What are you talking about? What do you intend to climb? C-L-I-M-E. Surely the great Lady Maxwell knows all about the subject? Don't flatter yourself by assuming I recognize every arbitrary word you humans create. Human arrogance can be so trying. Mila, do you know what Riza Maxi is made of? As if I wouldn't know? The power of spirits composes the entire natural world. Right. The term spirit climb refers to the balance of spirit power. When that power is out of balance, nature can become polarized in one direction. That's why there are unusual spirit climbs, like the Perpetual Night of Fenmont. I see. Thank you. Now I understand. You're very good at explaining things. My pleasure. Oh, I see how it is. I guess I'm just an arrogant human compared to little old innocent Jude.
I, um... easier. Okay, this should do. My Lilium Orb is coming along nicely. She always knows exactly what to pick. How I envy that.
Forget it. I won't let anyone down. Interesting. No wonder.